How do I get into this room right here? There's clearly a room here. Are you gonna tell me that with leverage three I can't get in there? It appears to be the ballistics lab. Right? So I guess it doesn't really matter. I've already been in there, regardless. Could poke around just to see it. Health bar? Who's is that? Cystoid. Not the best plan. I'm mostly just curious to take a look at the uh, exact location of the door. Make sure it's a familiar spot. I think it's right there. Okay. Mystery solved. It's right here. So it's not some secret place I have to, I have to access that way. I'm not missing out on anything. Now I know. Alright. Next thing is to go out into space then. Oh! Ja! Son of a bitch. That wasn't very nice. You made me waste a shotgun shell. I was not even a little ready for that. Just turn you off. I don't think I currently have a reason to put up with power. Is that lootable? Yep. Uh. Open, motherfucker. Why was- why are my glows- why would my hands be glowing? I don't have... any trippy, weird powers for those guys. How are we doing Neuromod wise? I currently have one. Let's actually buy. Boom. Gives me a bit more health, a bit more stamina, a little more speed. Start down that path. May even be ready to craft something else from here. That's a lot. You can get a lot of material out of those sci-hypos. Sci ah, do I want to take that plunge? Ah, I'm so bad at committing to these kinds of things is the issue. I, I like to keep the option open in, in the future that maybe I'll choose a different path for my character and what if I decide to, that I do want to uh, start using psi abilities at some point and I change my mind, then I'll be out of sci-hypos. Cure cures fear. All right, that's just the usual drinks. Wow, you can also turn you can turn a lot of this ammo into uh, materials to use too. Yeah, I mean anything that I have an overabundance and surplus of, I should probably be turning into st other stuff that I can actually make use out of, regardless what of what it is really. So let's try splitting, then. How about that? That's... wow, that's a really awkward console-centric control scheme. <laughs> that I have to do that. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of half the Psy hypos. To account for the chunk of game I've been playing where I haven't been using Psy, for example. That's probably not a... that's probably a kind of reasonable approach. That'll give me a big chunk of, uh... Alien materials I can spend. Disruptor stun gun, I like that one. I really dislike the Q-beam. We'll see how much I use it. But, uh... Let's get rid of a quarter of its ammo. I think that's a starting point. Uh... Okay. Oh, weird. I'd hit confirm again before I could move it, even though I'd already dragged it to a different screen. That was confusing. 
That seems like a reasonable move. I'm not gonna use up my- I'm not gonna recycle spare parts, because that's... A, that seems like a bad call. I'll find ways to use them. I'll just stop making more spare parts instead. And getting rid of, yeah, medkit seems like a bad idea. Flexifoam bolts are worth minimal. Although I don't want them to, I don't want them to stack over- yeah. Shotgun shells bro uh, after 50, I think. Yeah, they they stack they stop stop stacking at forty eight. These might stop stacking soon. So if I get rid of a a chunk of them, we're good. I only never I only ever need a few of them, so it seems pointless to have a giant stack. And I don't want them to take up an extra slot because that'd be somewhat irritating, frankly. I think that's a start. There we go. Now we can make the Q-beam and its cells if I wanted to. Suit repair kits. We're getting a lo much longer list of things I can craft now. They make it almost weirdly satisfyingly easy to make neuromods. The way that you can uh, just spam the double click real quick and then get your reward. I'm gonna run out of uh... No, I was gonna say I was gonna run out of synthetic first, but no, it, it, it requires more uh, exotic material than anything else. Let's remind myself really quick, shotgun shells require synthetic. 39 millimeters. Okay. So I'll be able to make... I'll have three synthetic left over after I make my neuromods. So I can make probably one shotgun set and two... and two uh, pistol sets. So gotta have my ammo ready. There we go. Let's do one shot... Not oh that requires two. I'll do one of each. There we go. Alright. Down to a fraction of a point for those two then, but we still have 36 organic. Uh, as usual, really. Neuromods, up to nine. Boom. Ooh, I could just go straight into, into Hacking 4 and just take it. That'd be nice. Otherwise, I could just go deep down the health bar pool. That's 200 and 300. Doubling my health pool's probably a pretty good idea. Stamina, I don't know if I really have that much need for. Ooh. Gain the ability to sprint with ludicrous speed and jump incredibly high. Oh boy. You know what I say about mobility options. I can't help it. They, I can't help it. They say ludicrous speed and incredibly high. I can't pass up on that, that adjective. There we go. Whoa, okay. I didn't even have to grab the ledge, I just jumped it completely on my own. Oh my god. This is gonna reduce glue gun usage a bit, isn't it? <laughs> Try it from down here. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, yeah. 200 health would be nice, but this is comical to me and I can't help it. <laughs> but want to do with it. And, uh, I'm relatively satisfied with, uh, what I got for that. Ooh! How do you have stuff? I it's hard to tell what's looted and what's not without constantly double-checking everything. Really? You're not looted? You're in the middle of the floor. Okay, how many unlooted engineering operators are there? The trash can's unlooted? What the hell? 
Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how that stuff was unlooted. I guess I just screwed up somehow. Somehow. Weird. Weird. Alright, let's get... Uh, whoops. Gotta adapt to my new speed. Now let's go looking for missing pilot man out in space. Where my speed and upgrades are, like, entirely irrelevant. <laughs> At least the ones I just got. To celebrate my new ability, let's go somewhere where I can't make any use of it. Hunter Hale, there we go. I'm a little worried I was gonna get hurt there. The Arboretum, that's one of the places we're trying to go to, but all the airlocks are locked. Turns out their names make sense right now. Here's the question, how much danger am I gonna be as I approach this thing? Are they gonna come after me? Is that a weaver down there? Seems like a weaver. Maybe if I stay far away enough, they won't come after me or something. Make sure everything's reloaded. Seven point three three meters per second. That's fast. I would be concerned. So far, we're safe out here. Surprisingly. That's a full-on shuttle, too. That's just... exactly what you think a space shuttle looks like. I feel like the, the, the open door is, has its... Yeah, is, is a wait from us, because there's gonna be some kind of reveal or attack. I don't feel entirely... I do not feel safe right now. Switching to shotgun for close range. Braid wire. Suit repair. Silenced pistol. Transcribe. Uh... It didn't play? Seems safe in here. Despite what happened to everyone. What's happening with my data? Hunter Hale made a bridge, yeah. This is Captain Hale, Shuttle Exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge, getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's, uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I, I need to park ASAP. I recommend security detail when I come in. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? That seems to be the end for him. So these are volunteers, as they call them. I don't... I wonder how much they were actually volunteers. Crown of the Tumbleweed. Starbender Cycle Book 5. Trevor, get up. Trevor lifted his head to find the source of the voice. His brain was foggy, and he hadn't heard his old man in what felt like... A I mean, his old name in what felt like ages. Here, he was Cal Oli. And the diminutive cliff dwellers of Dranthor called him King. Rolling out of his royal cot, he allowed his eyes to focus on the figure silhouetted in, the t in their doorway uh, to his royal cave. He knew that uniform. He knew that stance and disapproving glare. Empress Tourmaline, how did you find me here? The subdermal vacuum adapter, <laughs> adapter on we had you install came with a beacon. 
I tracked it here after beating Mercy to death and taking back the prism. I still need a crack pilot I can trust, assuming you're through playing royalty with these timid rock humpers, that is. Trevor untangled the tumbleweed crown from his matted hair and, re and reflected on his responsibilities to his meek and be threatened followers. Just one thing before I go. Trevor picked up his ceremonial chihuahua stick and strode out into the light. It straight up feels like the like way too overhyped uh, ways that uh, Stephen Moffat will show like this is what uh, Doctor Who or Sherlock has been up to since between seasons and it's all like he's up to some nonsense where he's saving the world in 15 billion ways that they'll never explain and it's like and it's like just basically visual noise on the screen for a while. This is a bunch of dead volunteers. So not progress towards uh, finding everyone that's missing on the sh crew. That's the dark thing. It's like that thing has a huge list of people that are all missing, and you're all and you're wondering where they all are. And then there's this whole sub list of people, these these volunteers that aren't even listed on that list that are also dead everywhere. No one's in the captain's uh, chamber. Ooh, hello. iPhone lure fabricator, neuromod. Those are all things that make me happy. Hopefully I'm not missing anything in here, but it's super, like, claustrophobic and, and disorienting to go around in here, so... i trying to look around. But it, moving definitely feels strange. I guess that's that. We just... Is that the entirety of that plot point, I wonder? Just the indication that there was, in fact a shuttle out there, and then something went wrong with them. There's one repair spot, but why would I want to use it? Control panel broken. What is this? I guess it could be the ship's computer, so maybe I should check it for that reason. Eh, I'm curious. Emergency power. Turn on. Oh, back chamber probably wasn't accessible a second ago. A crate. Ooh, weapon upgrade kit. Another neuromod. That was worth it. Give me more stuff at the very least. So there was a... I think that wouldn't have opened before, right? Because there was no emergency power. I just turned that on. All oh, right, these are oh, oh no, they don't open. I knew there were cupboards and compartments and stuff. So I take it this was supposed to be the next shipment of people that were supposed to be taking into the experiments, but this was the this was the delivery that was happening when everything was going to shit at the base itself. So nobody could let them in, and probably no one was really there to communicate with them about what was happening on the station itself. So they couldn't know that they that they were better off fleeing than uh, sticking it out. That's a hell of a sight. Well, they had a bad time. Seems like maybe Weavers got to them. It's really cool being able to just go outside of the space station in this game because it really makes you fully like understand the scope of the fact that this is all this whole game takes place in like one singular ship thing and that like you're navigating the whole thing and like you can see where your goal is when you try to go to like the arboretum because you're like it's right there i can look at it that's the sp that's the spot i'm trying to get to the problem is we're in space so i need to find an internal place that i can unlock or something to get to it because the exterior is locked let's see here i guess now we return with our we do our return trip I'm sure it's not the last time we'll be going out to space. I don't think I ha Ooh, I'm going way faster now. I don't think I have much reason to go back where I came from, the lobby. Power plant, locked. The human corpse that I haven't found before? What's that? There is a human corpse. Take a look. 
Oh, and that is a tech monster. Hopefully don't aggro that on my way to some stuff over here. Hey, you can see my shadow up there. There we go. You can see my shadow over there. Mike Devlin. One more person found. About all you can go for, really. That's the whole breach in the power plant. The power plant itself is locked. Kind of curious. I mean, I'm already in space and I've got a bunch of spare things. Maybe I should take a look at it? I could repair the power plant thing for later since I'm just under the assumption I'm going to explore everything eventually, right? So if it's safe enough, I could fix the whole breach situation and then have the option to explore it when I get there. Danger. Danger. What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> now listed as a cystoid. Alright, oh, gotta scan that stuff. Oh god. What are you? What, am I out of range? Scan that crap. There we go. Ah, weakness to fire, null wave, the telepath. Well, that's something new. The telepath is considered to be one of the most dangerous known Typhon, capable of, of psychically controlling weaker willed organisms and even people. It is almost impossible to contain for further study. Warning, please note that subsequent to incident case 1405031433, the creation and containment of telepath class specimens is no longer permitted. All personnel entering psychotronics are required to wear a psychoscope in order to, in addition to regular safety equipment. Weak to fire explosives, no wave. Immune to backlash. Gives you a lot of scannable powers, which makes sense given its name. I like how I can eat, so I can I can eat to heal when I'm here. Whatever that means. There's the whole breach. Usually some kind of goodies around here. Oh! Warning, warning. How do I descend again? Uh, C. Crouch button. There it is. More or less what you expect. Everything goes in a straight line in space. Oops. They all dying on me? Convenient. Accidental. Another cystoid nest. How the hell do I get an angle on that? That didn't work out. There we go. <laughs> really hard to line up shots when that's happening. Oh, we passed another 75% suit repair level. There we go. Don't want to waste bullets on you guys. They're just more valuable than that. Oh, they don't blow up on. They just blew up for free. Neat. Just one more up there. Yeah, no radiation on me right now, so... There does not seem to be other concerns nearby. Michaela's office. Gotcha. Secondary scan. Things seem pretty clear around here. Thank you.
That's the exterior door. Maybe there is no... Maybe there isn't a, uh... Breach to repair. Uh, the power's off for you. Is there, like, nothing to check out around here? There might be something in there. There we go. They're usually nice enough to give you something just for looking, like, no matter what. Oh, did I check the garbage can already? I really am scavenging for, like, the most minor possible items. Which is not what I was hoping for. Definitely thought there might be a, a big payout for checking this, play out, this place out. I don't even see a repair spot, so you can't- I don't think you can actually, like, gain access to more in the primary place by repairing stuff around here. Ooh. Oh, is that just a mirror? What am I looking at here? What is that? Is that a mirror or or is it a weird piece of the glass that nope? Is it glitched is it glitch tech oh it's uh graphical glitch. Oh. Weird. Yeah, that's a graphical glitch. I'm not supposed to be able to see through that wall. I'm seeing weird stuff loading in and out as I change my camera direction because that's how optimization works and all that. Weird. That's not what I was hoping for, but okay. And yeah, not a lot happened here. Okay, so I don't freaking know where I am, unfortunately. But given the current situation, I would ideally set my destination back into the shuttle bay. Oh, Guts also attaches to Psychotronics. Oh no, that's how I got there, isn't it? I got there through Psychotronics. What was the cargo bay? Anyway, I want to get to the shuttle bay. And then continue my route through Guts, I suppose, at that point. I just need to figure out how the hell to get back to the shuttle bay. Um, can I mark it or something? Is that my marker? No, it's just multiple objectives. It is hard to tell where you are sometimes in space. It's almost as if it's a completely unnatural location for a human being to be in or something. Let's see what I can do here. Um, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna get back into this ship. This is where the waypoints are pointing me towards. I'm just gonna hope that it's relevant to where, where I'm trying to be. Shuttle bay. There we go. Frankly, it'll, even if this wasn't the right spot, it's just easier for me to reorient myself inside the ship than outside of it at some point. Quickly before that guy attacks me. I am upside down. I wouldn't have it any other way. That was a weirdly excited sound effect. <laughs> I think I wasn't. I think it was going to attack me. The, uh, mechanical thing. Or the me well, the mechanical controller thing. Names are hard. Conditions. How we doing? That's not good. Oh, you're broken. It's fine. Everything's fine. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Warning. Oopsie. No. <laughs> Oxygen level's critical. There we go, there's the pistol. Just some basic upkeep while we go. Although, uh, where was the... Oh my god, I jump high now. <laughs> Next, uh, fabricator I encounter, I should probably make more bullets with it. So I believe it is now time to get back into guts. And enjoy. Alright, so, let's look at my scope chipsets. Is that the one? Echo shock, nope. 
Resistance to ether damage. Okay. I think I would want ether damage reduced because it's a, a damage site. Damage type I'm sure will happen. There we go. There we go. Resistance to question mark damage of some type of um, some sort that I'm sure will find its own way to be a problem. Back into guts. Back into floating slowly with muffled hearing. It's kind of nice going back to the hardware labs just to go back to being able to hear normally all the time. It was such a change of pace, you know? Been a decent chunk of time with my weird muffled hearing not so great feelings. So we haven't been here for very recently, have we? So there's the cargo tunnel, which is how we got here. So yeah, the fuel storage zone is tiny. Doesn't appear to have much by the way of attached chambers. So you're broken, right? That's the fabricator. I think I'm still... Yeah, I think I'm done with this place at this point, aren't I? Sorry, everyone. Me and my super jumper going home. And there's the gravity. Uh, gravity goes off machine. Hooray. Microgravity? Who are you calling microgravity? And this is, uh, right, the map is useless here. As far as figuring out the dimensions of this place, or even what direction you're going in half the time. So I can see the debris of the stuff I fought earlier. Did I check down here already? Those whispering noises in your head aren't really encouraging. 